Saudi Arabia's incentive for Russia to abandon Syria. The incentives reportedly include a major arms deal and a pledge not to challenge Russian gas sales to Europe. Syrian opposition sources close to Saudi Arabia said Saudi intelligence chief Prince Bandar offered to buy up to $15 billion of Russian weapons. The proposed deal was reportedly set out by Prince Bandar during a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow last week. Bandar bin Sultan is the Director General of the Saudi Intelligence Agency and the Secretary General of the Monarchy's National Security Council. He was the ambassador of Saudi Arabia to the United States from 1983 to 2005 and is known to have had close ties with former U.S. President George W. Bush. Bandar bin Sultan advocated the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq back in 2003. Some observers believe Saudi Arabia's ally, the United States, has indeed tasked Bandar bin Sultan with causing unrest in a number of regional countries, including Syria. On Tuesday, Saudi King Abdullah appointed Bandar bin Sultan's brother, Prince Salman bin Sultan, as deputy defense minister. Bandar has already worked closely alongside his brother, Prince Salman, on Saudi support for Syrian insurgents fighting to topple President Bashar al-Assad. Saudi Arabia, along with a number of other U.S. allies in the region, has been a key supporter of militants in Syria. That's according to the Guardian and according to the New York, New York Times, which basically uh, asserted that most, uh, that the majority of the funding, the arming, the logistical support went to the most radical Wahhabi Salafi group in uh, Syria, that is Jabhat al-Nusra. So it turned, the Saudi support, Qatari support, uh, turned Jabhat al-Nusra into the most ruthless, brutal, and the best armed, the best and most effective armed uh, group in uh, Syria. Riyadh has already called for foreign military intervention to topple President Assad's government. Meanwhile, some reports suggest that Saudi Arabia is planning to get involved in Yemen militarily for the second time over the past four years. This comes against a backdrop of the rising U.S. drone attacks which have killed dozens of people there in recent weeks. Back in 2009, Saudi Arabia entered a direct war with Houthi fighters in northern Yemen. It claimed to be trying to stave off unrest near its borders. Saudi Arabia also sent troops to neighboring Bahrain to crush popular uprising there back in 2011. It also threw its full weight behind the Egyptian army's ouster of first democratically elected President Mohamed Morsi. Saudi Arabia and other Persian Gulf monarchies poured billions of dollars into cash-strapped Egypt soon after Morsi's overthrow. Some analysts believe Saudi rulers' ill-considered war strategy has already failed as the oil-rich monarchy has been gripped by anti-regime protests itself. Dozens of anti-government protesters have been killed in the regime's crackdown on dissidents in Saudi Arabia's restive eastern province. The region is simmering with tensions despite the deadly crackdown. It's yet to be seen if Saudi rulers will decide to respond to the demands of their own people instead of cracking down on dissent and meddling with other countries' affairs.